We are getting close to time, and it's the time where we should lose that signal. Folks are watching the radio science display right now, so let's go to Todd and Joni in Mission Control. Hi, Gay. Well, six minutes to go till we're six feet under, so uh, uh, it's, it's going to be hard to say goodbye here. Radio display still looks great, as we just saw on screen. Um, mission Control. We're, I hear a lot of uh, buzz in the room about uh, uh, the uh, thruster cycles, because the uh, thrusters are firing. We're still outside the atmosphere, and they're just uh, keeping dead bands, keeping that pointing on Earth as long as possible. Uh, so things aren't too crazy yet, but once we hit that atmosphere, things happen super fast. So let's look around the room. As, uh, is nominal. We're in low rate mode and we're waiting for high rate mode transition. Copy, so, thank you. So the, that was the indicated. Fault protection system lead. Go ahead, system lead. Just going to get a quick subsystem status, please. AECS fault protection is nominal. Copy, thank you. Thermal system lead. Thermal device subsystem is nominal. Copy, thank you. Power system lead. Power subsystem is nominal. Copy, thank you. System fault protection system lead. System fault protection is nominal, no fault protection activity. Copy, thank you. CDS system lead. CDS is nominal, we have two frames buffered. Copy, thank you. Telecom system lead. Uh, telecom is nominal, good SNT. Copy, thank you. Radio science system lead. Radio science is nominal, signal levels are nominal, the uh, residual frequency is starting to increase. Copy, thank you. Propulsion systems lead. Uh, pressures and temperatures are nominal, propulsion is nominal. Copy, thank you. Mission planning systems lead. Mission planning is nominal. Copy, thank you. Flight director systems lead, everything is nominal. Copy. And Ace copies. Thank you, Ace. So what we just heard was uh, the room going around and checking all of the, the subsystems. So, so far, uh, all of the subsystems are, are nominal about four minutes, uh, th three and a half to four minutes away from the end. Joni, I heard a comment there that we went from low rate to high rate uh, control. Can you comment on that? To, to sure. That? So we have uh, our, our computer that's controlling our pointing has different modes, and it's smart enough to know when we start having to fight a little harder. So we heard that uh, the computer acknowledged that we start having to fight a little bit. Okay, thanks. We were remarking earlier, it's incredible this entire spacecraft runs on 600 watts of power. How much power is that? Yeah, about half, half a hair dryer. Wow. That's all, that's all we got right now. <laughs> I wouldn't even talk about how little fuel we have left. It's about 1% plus or minus 2%. So that's one reason we're uh, heading into Saturn's atmosphere tonight. Under three minutes now. We should definitely emphasize we don't know exactly when we'll lose signal. It depends on the Saturn atmosphere and how well the thrusters fight. Uh, so stay tuned. And we're, uh, radio signal looks wonderful. X-band and S-band, two different radio bands, still getting the signal from Cassini. We're approaching about 10 degrees north latitude uh, on Saturn. Three thousand miles from the from the cloud top. I remember seeing we were going to hit the atmosphere about seventy-seven thousand miles an hour. I see we're close. So. <laughs> Two minutes and counting. Oh, we're starting to exit the... Systems, this is AACS-1. Go ahead, AACS. We're still waiting for transition to high rate mode, but it looks like we're going to start accumulating thruster on time um, at, a, at a higher rate now, and um, our attitude control error is, um, is starting to, to be more active. Copy. Yep. That means we're just starting to sense the atmosphere, right? Yep, yep. we can start seeing the, the spacecraft starting to lose the battle with the atmosphere. This is AACS-1. We just had the um, transition to high rate mode. 
And with this, we're going to start seeing thruster on time accumulating very quickly, and the dead band is going to clamp down to 0.5.52 millirad, and uh, we are in the atmosphere. Copy, thank you. Roughly one minute to loss of signal. Systems, this is NAV. Go ahead, NAV. Uh, we can confirm what AACS just told you. Copy, thank you. So we're just starting to see the thrusters fire more and more. Yeah. Radio signal still holding. 30 seconds. Systems lead, mission planning. Go ahead, mission planning. Spacecraft has just crossed 10 degrees north latitude, altitude 1,000 miles. Copy, thank you. Systems, AACS-1. Go ahead. With the additional uh, thruster on time, we're going to also see the dead band start uh, riding. Copy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've crossed our zero time. Yeah, I Flight director, ready science. We have, Go ahead, flight director. We have lots of signal that actually band has zero band. Project manager, flight director. Go ahead. Okay, we call loss of signal, loss of X band at Call loss of signal at 115546 for the S-band, so that would be the end of the spacecraft. Copy that. Project manager on FSO cord. Maybe a trickle of telemetry left, but just heard the signal from the spacecraft is gone, and within the next 45 seconds, so will be the spacecraft. Uh, I hope you're all as deeply proud of this amazing accomplishment. Congratulations to you all. This has been an incredible mission, an incredible spacecraft, and you're all an incredible team. I'm going to call this the end of mission. Project manager, off the net.